Thanks for being here today. Um, first off, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Pete Byzantine. I'm from Gillespie. Um, I was born and raised there. This is my wife, Liz, over here in the corner. Um, <laughs> and last year in July, my dad was diagnosed with glioblastoma brain cancer. And since then, um, I started a clothing line called Fight the Fight, um, which Liz and I are wearing today. And some of you other guys are. Angie's wearing it. Um, it's 50-50, so 50% of all the profits from the clothing line don't get donated to people who get large unexpected medical expenses. And I try to go and speak to as many people and as many benefits as I can just to share the story. Um, so now I, I want to tell you guys a quick story about some people that I know. Um, their names are Katie Drummond, Dee Dee Good, Megan Marcacci, Joey Bertetto, Jim Brown, Reverend Lionel Groover, Cindy Belovich, Ava Carr, Joan Libra, Michael Marcacci, Seth Brune, Kathy Hausman, Connie Wenzel, Pod Savant, Tori Riley, Alyssa Phillips, Lisa Allward, Milo Price, Pete Byzantine Sr., my dad, and now also Angie Johnson. Each one of these people is, a, is living, breathing proof that cancer and other serious medical conditions can be overcome and can be beaten with the right attitude, the right support system, and the right faith and, faith and beliefs. You can read their survivor stories on our website. Each of these people was knocked down, as we all are, when we get news of something like cancer that happens to one of our friends or family or to us. I know firsthand that when you hear a diagnosis with the word cancer in it, time stands still and everything else going on in your life fades away. After the initial shock of the diagnosis, you have to make a choice. I believe that we have, have the ability to either choose whether we will let it kill us or whether we will let it make us stronger because of the struggle that it creates. Every person on that list that I mentioned before is a testament to the unwavering belief that what doesn't kill us truly does make us stronger. Every one of them is stronger, maybe not physically, but stronger mentally and spiritually than they were before. People ask me a lot what advice would I give to someone who's been diagnosed with a serious medical condition such as cancer. For my answer, I came up with three things. Number one, Number one is to never quit. The minute you quit in your mind, your body, will be, your body will begin to quit as well. Every single minute, every single day, every single experience in life is worth fighting for. You may have to go through the pain and discomfort of radiation, chemo, and surgery, but you must never forget that every speck of time we have here is worth fighting for. Number two, struggle produces strength. Nobody gets where they want to be in life without overcoming adversity. And the same goes for all of us as well. If it was easy to stay fit and healthy and make lots of money, everybody would. Cancer is nothing but an obstacle in your path that you have to struggle through, over, under, or around. The more you have to struggle, the stronger you will come out on the other side. And number three, lastly, I think when something like cancer happens to us or to a friend or a loved one, we focus on all the bad stuff. We forget to just enjoy life. Enjoy every day, take risks, have fun, move forward, don't hold back. Each and every minute of each and every day is a gift and we should live it that way. So I want to leave you by saying this. You've done a good job so far. you fought well. But I believe our best days are yet to come. Thank you guys. And all